on this episode of the Realmatic Podcast. Like if we just said, all right, fuck it. You close your eyes. You've mm-hmm. never seen her before. Okay. You just play her music. It's trash. Realmatic Podcast. Did you end up completing high school? High school completed me. What does that mean? High school completed me. You know what I'm saying? I don't I, I, I want to go I don't want to go too in deep about it, but that's what it means. Were you able to get a diploma? A diploma wasn't able to get me. Uh, it's like, oh god. Mm-hmm. What you eating, bro? I don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean you don't want to talk about it, bro? <laughs> I don't want to get roasted. I don't want to eat some up. fucking. <laughs> nigga, you that cum. <laughs> nigga, you, you the funny as hell, because I, I ain't get over that. I was like, that nigga really said that shit. I was like, am I high? That nigga really said cum. <laughs> um, question, Ben. I, mm-hmm. Is Sweetie on this conversation? Yeah, yeah, she Thank is. You. Oh, okay. God. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, nah, start I was... off with her. Okay, I was about to say, I, I, didn't, I didn't see it on the list, and I was like, okay, I didn't put it there, but okay. Yeah. Oh god, he is. He's gonna go in. He's gonna go on sweetie, bro. He's gonna flame her, bro. Bro, that's crazy. No, I saw an interesting take, a take about her today that that kind of makes a lot of sense too. Mm. All right. All right. And I was gonna, make, gonna be real quick. This basically yeah. the theory was basically saying that you can't market Stop. yourself. Wait, just start the episode. All right, go start the episode. I was gonna say shit. You can just go ahead. Just start uh, like that. Set, set the goddamn episode, man. Welcome back to the Romantic Podcast. Yeah, you had to cut that nigga off like that. Nah, nah, I had to cut that nigga off. He, he, he like, ready to, that nigga trying, off. To sell, he trying to tell stuff off the record, bro. The people need to hear this shit. He do. He do. He do. He do. He be beefing. I be having all the points like that, bro. And be talking, saying shit off the record, bro. I need, I need, I need it all. We need it all for the content, my boy. God damn it. Welcome back to the Real Romantic Podcast, my boy. Yes, sir. It's a right. five in this piece, bro. We've been gone for a week, been tired, bro. We've been having yeah. holidays and shit. But mm-hmm. we back. We back yeah, with man. that good pack. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so we got Sweetie. She just dropped Sweet. an album. And uh she only sold 2,000 copies first week. So how y'all yeah. feel about that? Bro. So you it's say? not her fault. How's it not her fault? Mm. It's not her fault. Okay, break that fault. down, bro. Break that down. I blame what her her team, bro. I don't care. Her team let her down on that. Like literally, like I was just watching this thing and it was talking about uh what is it? Um Hitmaker. He was like, yo, that's not on her. That's her team. If I got multi-million followers, thousands and thousands of subscribers, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no reason I'm only selling 2K. There's I ain't reason. no little artist, bro. I got platinum songs. But she got like five songs? Five platinum songs? Yes, bro. Like, whatever it is, she got songs. So it's like, bro, that's just disrespectful. It's not disrespectful. <laughs> now, ain't nobody knew she was dropping. Nobody. They promoted. They ain't promoted. They failed her. What's the album called, bro? Exactly. What's the album bro? called? That's the thing. <laughs> Ain't nobody know. That's crazy. Like, come on, I man. you know how I knew about it. I saw they. Uh, I was listening to the radio, and they were like, "Yes, yeah, Sweetie dropped a, a single that seems to be addressing like Quavo." And I was like, "Okay, I don't <laughs> care." That's so weird. I guess you you shouldn't have dropped right now because you know we got people who just passed, and it just looks tasteless and stupid. But yeah, what like, is this man like, eating, bro? <laughs> bro, he's trying to sneak and eat on the pod. Bro. <laughs> what is he eating? I'm busting down red beans and rice, bro. Nah, bro, nah, bro nah, it's Thanksgiving. Should, it should look creamy, bro. It's 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 this end. What are you it's, eating, bro? Just tell the people. My, it's my mama's special recipe. What you eating, bro? For Thanksgiving, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I, I know how many days it's been, bitch. I don't care. Bro, she's still good as fuck. Uh, nigga, uh. I just need to know. Bro. Hey, hey, like, out of all the shit, that's the only thing I eat because I because I know I know when she made it. I know she made that shit late as hell that 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 night. 
And you know, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> good as fuck. <laughs> bro, you see how he's not trying to explain what the heck it is, bro. He just it's dressing, but it's dressing. It's dressing. It's dressing. It's dressing, it's dressing. It's dressing, but it's the way it's, we make it a different way. We don't make it the little nasty way that everybody else make it. So um, I don't mm. know if it's a nasty way. Looking like looking like soup over there, bro. I don't know what you eating. Bro, don't, don't disrespect the dressing like that. That's fucked up. <laughs> hey, nigga, so are, you, are, are you done? Are you done? <laughs> he mad at me because we. No, 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 no. I know. Just like in general, like are you doing your, your little point? Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, good. Oh, about, about to about to save it, man. Um, the reason why I shoot. <laughs> Boy, fuck you. But the reason why she, she in reality she really sold two thousand down records is mainly because bro she's marketed like a social influencer she's not really marketed as a rapper i feel like mm-hmm. we really pay attention to also we everything that she just be this little bitch does right i mean she got mcdonald deals social media branding she got yeah, all the little social media shit going on but what what about the music you hear more about the things that she's collaborating with and the things that she's making more than the music the music never felt like it was a priority it felt like an afterthought even the little shit before the Quavo split, her going to a writer's camp and her doing this and doing that. I just feel like it's so much, so many questions when it comes to her about her music ability, her ability to make consistent music. And I understand she had them little hits and whatever when she first blew up and whatever, but that was because of the samples and shit like that. Like, you got you to keep it a, a stack when it comes to, like, her actual ability. And then you even said, see that joke, like, people like Joe Budden and shit like that was just saying, oh, shut the fuck up until, until you address these things or whatever. But it's like, Bro, album came, two thousand copies sold. And I want you to really, like, really realize in the streaming era how two thousand copies is really crazy. Like that's that's some fucked that's up sad, shit. Sad, bro. So it's kind of like so it's kind of like, bro. She's an influencer. She's a social media influencer because his name. I can give you a male rapper if you. And I want you to really think about it. It's, it's, it's like the same equivalent. Like Saweetie is like a la Blueface. You wanna know why? Because both of them niggas ain't making no money off their damn music. And nobody's really listening to their trash ass music, but a lot. Face. But but you see them niggas all the time on social media for different drama, for different things. Because <clears> social <throat> media is what, what, is what put the money in their pockets. And I do feel like her selling two thousand not two thousand copies. Yeah, that's yeah. It's like, I mean, are, did we expect more than that? She's not even a top female rapper, but so it's like, what did you even expect? That's the thing. Bro, man. I'm at least it's like I'm thinking fifteen. Damn. Bro. <laughs> Who, who's buying it? Who's looking for it? That's at least one. Like, who yo, I'm expecting my girl to get at least a minimum of like a 15, 20, bro. I, what, what warrants her 15? Because she got like 6 bro, million followers. 2K? Oh, nigga. Bro, 2K? That's she disrespectful, nigga. bro. That's like one school listen to it, bro. <laughs> like, that's it. Ain't nobody, nobody cares. really listen nobody to cares. it. Nobody cares. Nobody like, I clicked on it and I saw like, well, you know how like in Apple Music it tells you like people who were listening. It was only one person I knew who listened to it. I was like, damn, that shit crazy. You're one of that 2K. Bro, I don't know why nobody want to say it, but she's trash. I'm not going to say she's trash. I'm going to just say more. No, no okay. she's okay. trash. Old, she's she's trash. No, 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 no. We can't do that. We can't always be. Yes, we trash. can. She is she not can, a good bro. rapper. Anything to say, bro. I'm going to just say that the music that she make is not. She says she only she's it. not even she's like that, Marlon. Like she's, she's not, not good at rap. She's just not good at rap. Yeah, she don't fucking rhyme good enough, bro. Oh, she don't. Does a lot of rap better than her? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's not even questionable. Like, what are we yeah, talking no, about? I'm not. I'm not gonna disrespect Marlon like that. Let me stop. Like, like, bro, she is at the bottom, bro. Yeah, she's bro. at the bottom. Like, she really cannot rhyme. You know how certain people can rhyme to have cadence and flow. She don't have that. She don't have that. Yeah. So, two thousand copies, of course. Two thousand is crazy, bro. You got too Somebody much backing. Fuck with your shit. You got too I'm much backing to only be getting two K, bro. She listen, bro. The, the You're not a baby artist. Stop bro. it. It's what she a ten trying to rap is good on mute, bro. Shut up. Seriously. <laughs> Shut up, Marlon. <laughs> bro. That's what it is. God said it, bro. Like, come on, bro. You gotta understand. Like when she came into the game, she had pretty privilege. That's the only reason why she's this far is because of how she looks. It has nothing to do with her musical ability. She's not good. Like, I'm not even hating, y'all. Like, she's not good. Like, if she played her mixtape for me, and if I was in the boardroom, I would have been like, turn this shit off. What is this? (laughs) (laughs) This shit is not good. Like, 
<laughs> like if we just said, all right, fuck it. You close your eyes. You've mm-hmm. never seen her before. Okay. You just play her music. It's mind. trash. <laughs> this shit is ass, bro. Man, I'm, I'm gonna close my eyes. I need you to sing me a sweetie song and like I'll, I'll I don't even know a sweetie song, bro. <laughs> like, I'm who saying, the fuck? But like would you would you listen to a female rapper if, if they wasn't attractive? Like just being just asking an honest question. I listen to Rap City. Nah, that's not what I know. Don't, don't, don't listen, li- dog. Nobody's bothering me. I hate when niggas say that. I don't I care. Listen I listen to Rap City. Rap City. Oh, Rap City. Oh, niggas don't that. say that. What is you talking about? Uh, I heard niggas. Why don't Rap nobody City? say that, bro? Don't nobody talk about Rap City. Stop it, bro. Stop the cat. Rap City, the only one. Stop the cat, bro. Stop the cat. the only one we talk. Don't nobody talk. No name. Do you realize the bar? You listen is, is to no name, Rap bro? City or Megan Thee Stallion, bro. Like that shit is crazy, bro. Like either you gonna be Megan Thee Stallion or you gonna be Rap City. Like that shit is crazy, bro. Rap City is no not in on between. the scale, bro. Stop, bro. There's no in between. Don't nobody talk about her. There's no in between, bro. So I'm telling you, like, is it? It's either super woke in a dike <laughs> or uh, <laughs> or or you a ten or you a ten or you a stallion. Did but yeah, man, she's just not that good, bro. She's just not that good, and y'all gotta like y'all gotta understand it. So when I see the two thousand copies, I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. And all those followers, those are not real followers, y'all. Those are bots. She but talks, that's the like, thing, like, yo, that. if as like an artist, as like an not artist, all of it, but mean? most of them, yeah. If if I see that I only sell two K, right? I gotta put everything into perspective. Like literally, you have to reanalyze yourself. Don't try to. Act like, oh, I only make music for the pretty bitches. Stop it. That's not how you respond to this. It's more better, it's more pretty bitches than 2000. Because <laughs> we gonna bully you off the internet. Go go take a second and go think. And then think about this. Yo, you got multiple millions. You gotta look and be like, yo, maybe I really don't got the clout I thought I did. She don't need to be rapping, bro. Yeah. She, wants she need to be modeling, bro. She need to be oh, modeling. Bro, she, she need to be for some fashion game. shit. Like ben, she need ben, to be doing that. You can't put her in that rapper. pocket. Don't you? Do got this to game off rap, She got she to be rap. though, bro. Look at her. Oh, she look, bro. Look at her. She looks amazing. She does. Bro, when you come to rapping, shut the fuck up, bro. Yo, she oh, ain't even dropped the debut the album though. Yeah, but you can't say that. She ain't even drop a debut album yet. Why I can't say that though, bro? That's this thing. That's 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 literally the point that the female rappers be talking about. Like you only want to talk about how good she looked, but it's like you know, you want to tell her to shut the fuck up, bro. You got because she not cry. good, bro. She not good. It'll be the same thing for a nigga. If he's not good, type. he not good, that's bro. My that's my type. Who we used to talk about that's not good, bro. Okay. She, it just, she, bro. Some niggas just should not be rapping, man. She just like shouldn't that. be rapping. Like it just don't sound good, man. It's sad. I don't it's like sad. That. Cause it's like, I don't like your point, but I'm it's this clout driven society, bro. Like y'all let anybody mm-hmm. get into the game just cause they look good. Like that shit is not cool, bro. Hey man, you ain't bumping that sweetie in the whip, bro. I bet it got some bass. I don't know why he doing yeah. that. What you I mean? I got some bass. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, bro? <laughs> he said something. I don't know. I don't know what he said. But yeah, moving on though, man. So Sweetie talks about the state of hip hop. Have you noticed like the turn in like the city just kind of like things getting a little crazier out here? I mean, I think it's getting publicized a lot. Like like there's always been shit happening in LA, obviously, but. I mean, LA and other cities, it just goes to show that this is the reason why women is running, you know, rap and hip hop because there's just so much violence and disrespect in the the male music you gotta think like remember when what was that like 16 17 number one like yg tyga chris was out it was like fun big, part- sean. big sean it was fun party right. t fly yeah but it was yeah. like fun party music it wasn't like i'm gonna do this to you and this this you know right so it's like i feel like we had to raise the vibration with the music and get back to having a good time so what do y'all think about what she said, man? Do y'all think that ass up. y'all think female rappers are running the game right now? What y'all think about Good that? lord, mm-hmm. bro. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you if you're gonna be objective and say that, yeah, statistically, all you do see is Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B, and no. I guess, but Stop. I feel like they're not they're not literally running anything. I feel like they're not. What do you, you mean by that? Stuff. What do you mean by statistically? 
Marlon be. No, no, no. Marlon be out. trying to be safe. He be trying to save everybody, bro. He be trying to save everybody. He be playing yo, his K-pop, bro. That's not fair, bro. Take the K-pop, bro. I am straight for the hack and slash. Sorry, bro. Just by female rappers, bro. We can't do that, bro. We got to be fair, bro. What are you talking about, bro? I'm asking you a question, bro. What do you mean by statistically, bro? Statistically, I feel like you'll they like you'll see him a lot. You'll see him a lot making making songs. You'll see him a lot on social media. But it's like I don't, but I don't know if that that equates to running anything. Because I think that's probably what she means is like the visualization of female rappers. You see him all the time, but I don't think. I mean, female rap, female rap, never gonna want to run the rap game, bro. That's and not then, what I took from that. No, I mean the way I mean denial. Honestly, I mean the way the way she said it was kind of like, bro, she just want party music back. But she know for she know for well, a go make that, huh? Go make that. <laughs> I kinda, gonna listen to that's kind of what that. I was coming to say. I really was like, she she needs to just go make that. I feel like it makes more sense for her to make that. She needs to stop making bro. music. Look, bro, <laughs> she she is fine. I was looking, I was like, good God. All right, I see it. But bro, come on now. Come on now. How that sound? Females are running the rep game. Bro, females <laughs> are. I don't remember where was I just I was just watching who she did another interview or somebody had this conversation about this interview. And they were like, bro, female rap is literally telling women, A, only be with a guy for money. Only be with a guy for money. If you ain't got no money, then sell your pussy. Like, yo, it's a thing. That's what y'all doing. Guys, we rapping about shooting and killing and everything else. Both of them are going hand in hand regardless. But the guys are going to be more prominent. Because ain't nobody looking at you, sweetie. Like. Come on now. I got to attack her point because I'm just like, what is she talking about? Female good. rappers are running the, running game. the game. Based off what? Based off what metric? Mm. What are we talking about? Like, they're not. I'm sorry. They're just One not. more time. Like, what was the last female rap album that we was like, yo, this is hard as fuck. What was the last female rap album? Like, come on, bro. Stop playing with us, bro. Bro, we can't Stop even get a female this- collab album, bro. Like, I'm just saying, bro, like, facts. Like, that's a real facts. thing, bro. We can't <laughs> even get a female collab project. That's not like, like but but that's, that's that's female, there are female rappers that actually making hard albums, though. Who? But that's what like was the very, last one, though? What was the last one? The last one to me that felt like that was a hard album? Yeah. yeah. To me, it, it was like Little Sims' last project was, was really good. But then again, but she, like, she, Sims, she's, she's not even she's American, not, bro. She's and not she American. Don't, don't <laughs> She's not even American. I'm gonna say, like, I'm gonna say I'm the last, that it's rap. The last thing you know, rap like, artists that could really worldwide. say she was, like, she was rapping though. She was rapping. Like she was I fucking know, like, worldwide. You can't, vibe, man. Mm. Mm. I could see that though. I could see that, but but she's just rapping too much. But this thing, like, I don't put I don't put her in that category with these the rest of these random ass female yeah, rappers. She, you know she what I mean? British, bro. She British. I'm talking about somebody that we look at today. Yeah, where they out met. Yeah. We got a bunch of niggas dropping albums. We ain't got no girls dropping albums for real. That are actually hard. That for her to even make that statement. So you know what, Glorilla? Like... Glorilla. We can't, we can't use her either, though. Yeah, yeah. Mubby. Mubby. I mean, you could. You know what? I'm forgetting. Over, over- <laughs> that was a good project for her. You could use her, yeah. But, I mean, I have three I more see. guy albums. That's yeah, better, yeah. you know? So, I don't really know what she's getting that from. Mm-hmm. Then, as far as her saying that, you know, Men just talk about violence and that women have a better message. Uh, marginally, it. yes, marginally, because they're not talking about <laughs> killing each other. They're not talking mm-hmm. about killing each other. They're talking about hypergamy, which is understandable because as a woman, you do want to date up. You don't want to date down. So it makes sense yeah. for them to say things like, oh, we need a rich nigga, this and that. I'm yeah. cool with that. I mean, oh, it's not really the best message, but it's better than saying we're going to kill each other. But I feel like but as far as I'm just like, is that the hill you want to die on? I don't think that's the hill that you should die on if you're a female rapper saying that, oh, we talk about better shit. No, y'all don't. Y'all message is still toxic in a sense. It's the same thing for all y'all. Every female rapper is like the same type of message. And it's like, we're Mm -hmm. not not saying that we don't need that in rap. But I just felt like every one of y'all can't do the same thing. Every one of y'all can't do the same thing formulaic Facts. like y'all can't copy Nicki Minaj's model and think that y'all finna be better than Nicki Minaj you know what I'm saying y'all, right. y'all can't 
I just feel like there's got to be more creativity in his name. But you see the artists, you like they're there. Like I've seen every once in a while, you might see a female artist that can spit some dope shit that could be as creative. Like I always want to use a Rico nasty model because I just feel like out of female rap, she was oh, doing. And then one of my one of my, like one of her last two projects, I fought with them both. But it's like that's not the, that's not the female rapper they would put on the pedestal. They're not mm. looking for stuff like that. They're looking for the Megans, the Lottos, the the, the Cardis, and mm-hmm. it's like I mean, if that was your, that's your flavor, bro, go go crazy. But I just feel like if female rap is like a box, it's it's only gonna get so broad, it's gonna get so diverse. Like it's not working, right? If you ask me, man, the best female rapper hasn't even dropped the project yet, bro. Just let that sink in, bro. Who? The best female rapper has not dropped a project yet. Who? I'm gonna let y'all figure that out, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, you ain't gonna leave us. <laughs> I need to know who is this female rapper of legend. Her name is Dochi. Oh, Dochi yeah. ain't even drop a project yet. She, she better than EP. the motherfuckers, man. And you know, and you know, it's fucked up that that if she can really become the best female rapper. I hope. I hope mm-hmm. that. Like, mm. So, uh, we really got to think about this, y'all. We got to think about this. See, Nicki Minaj gets a lot of flack because when she came out, she was like in a monopoly. There wasn't many female rappers. There wasn't many female voices that could rival hers. So when she came out, her music was outstanding because that's all we had at the time. Now we have a plethora of female rappers. However, their um, subject matter is the same. Like all they do is talk about the same thing. And that's the problem. Y'all have to switch it up. We need some more diversity. We need some more female rappers that's going to come in with a different message. I mean, Mm -hmm. goddamn, like women are feminine, right? So shouldn't they want to talk about love more? That's just a thought. But yet they talking like niggas. And that's the problem with our fucking community. It's a reflection of our community. They talking like niggas, talking about, oh, we finna get to the bag. Oh, if he ain't got the bag, drop that nigga. Oh, play these niggas. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Y'all not even moving like that, bro. But that's, no. that, that's more of a sign of the times than like the, rap, the the females especially. I feel like that's just a sign of the times. I feel like women are trying to be more financially and just independent. Like, nah, bro. I mean, oh, ain't trying to be no financial cap, independent. though, Marlon. That shit no, cap, bro. man. You go outside, these hoes trying to fall in love, man. Mm-hmm. Are. They trying to but fall they in love. Trying- Money though, they also want niggas with money. They also trying to get to the money, unfortunately. For sure, but they not out here talking like they fucking, you know, big bosses and shit like that. They not doing mm, that, bro. No, bro. They not doing that. Some of them are. motherfuckers. They trying to be submissive. What is we talking about, man? Man, bro, it's hard. This shit crazy, bro. It's hard out here. Though. But speaking of rappers, so cool. let's get into the top five. Mm-hmm. What is the top five rappers currently in the game right now? Start with number five. Bro. Let's go, Rock. Bro, hey, bro, when you sent five. this in the chat, bro, I was like, God damn it, I'm an old head. No, now. But, no, no, Jesus. But think about it. It's the opportunity Jeez. to really just hang on off the top of your head. It's your top five, not anybody, not everybody's top five. I know, five. Yeah. but like, I felt like an old head, bro. I was like, geez, oh, bro, it's okay. got nobody. It's, it's, like, it's, ah. it's okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, not, sense either. it's okay. Number five yeah. in the game right now, bro. Number, number five. Number five. I said uh, Uzi. Ooh. Mm, that's fair. I can I can go with that one too. Yeah, Uzi got hype right now. Okay. You know what I mean, he got he got some stuff about the drop. Um, people watching him again. Okay. I think Uzi up there. Top five. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. What you got, Marlon? I'm gonna put Westside Boogie at number five. Wow, okay. Or geez. Going boom bap. He's going Bro, not nah, Westside Boogie ain't really boom bap, but I just feel like the last project. Oh, Westside Boogie. I'm thinking of um, somebody else. Nah, okay. nah, nigga. West Side, bro. West Side Boogie. Bro. <laughs> I got you, bro. Like, no I got you. Clothes, bro. Come on, now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But most of that shit, I honestly think his wordplay, his storytelling, and just his perspective of just a nigga just trying to survive in, 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 in his community and trying to fight the battle between him being in the street and him just being this rapper. I mean, shit. Nobody, niggas ain't rapping like that. Niggas ain't okay, really I, I kind of see where y'all going with this. Now, when yeah. I ask the question, who are the top five? I'm talking about objectively, not your top five. I'm talking about even like, even then, I would still say he's a top five. Say, okay, he might, he might not get that, but he's a top. I don't five. know. In my opinion, for I Boogie, think. I would have think that he would been like top five. Like if you asked this question like four months ago, or five months ago, I, I just I fuck with when him he project, had first dropped. He ain't top five, y'all. Like, I mean, you're not top five. What? what not? 
Because I feel like what, what makes him not top five? He's not selling enough them. records. He's not selling but, enough but, records. But is that more on him or more on his team or more on the way he's marketed or more on just the way that the social media go? Because, like, bro, he's making raps. He's making five shit. He can, he can really out-rap niggas if you ask me. Like, but hey, but I mean, hey, go crazy, I guess. Like, I feel like, you, but he just, he ain't up there we yet. All, all uh, the same niggas top there. five about how much we see him. We don't never get, like, sometimes we don't never get down to, like, is the quality of the music better than this nigga quality of music? That's what I'm saying. I'm not looking at it like that. Because if I'm we're doing it like that. To me, and you ask me, yeah, mm-hmm. it could be out of everybody in the game right now, yeah. Not you can't do sure. that, though, bro, because it's going to be certain people mean? that's going to be at the top of your list that don't deserve to be up there, bro. No, he don't not, deserve bro. to be up there, bro. He really bro, don't. We, we all going to have the same, like, top three or top four probably anyway. We so not, though. Know. I promise you. We I don't know about that. We might not. Based off how this shit know. going. But my number five, Le Baby. Little baby. Be baby. Number five top rappers in the game. Not even gonna hold you, bro. I'm not even in a little baby like mood right now. Dude. Like I haven't been like he dropped the project. Uh what was it? What was the most recent one he just dropped? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, see, it kind it felt like it came and I enjoyed it for that couple of minutes, and like it was like, all right, cool. Mm. Maybe like in like maybe in a couple of months it's randomly gonna get like big again. Yeah. That's how baby baby albums work and how they blow. It, I don't know. Like, it's just you know, like um, but it's a respectable pick. It's it's baby. It yeah, he sells records, man. He sells records. He still has his post on the culture. Yeah, um, one of the major artists of today. So I got him at number five. What's y'all number four? Number four pick. Right. Uh, Kodak. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Oh. Black. Mr. Black, bro. Uh, Kodak. Kodak is is an interesting fellow, man. Um, he can still sell, he mm-hmm. can still sell and get these numbers, but at the same time, it's always a hit and miss with him, which is mm-hmm. weird to me. Like he, every third album for Kodak for me, I like. Hmm. And sometimes he does like he does a lot of conceptual stuff, like, oh, I want to do it this way, or I want to say it could sound this way, but then he finally finds a pocket that he sounds good in, and I enjoy it. Well, I guess what's I up? give a Kodak Kodak four. Four, okay. What you got, Marlon? Rod Wave. That's my, my number four. Oh wow, wow. Yo, I still haven't listened to Rod Wave, bro. And, that, and that's the problem because honestly, truly, this mm. nigga's selling out selling out football stadiums at this point. This man, he, literally, and I know that the, the the common things about oh, he makes sad music and all that. Like I want to hear that shit. He makes mm-hmm. party every time, bro. Be flowing and singing on these goddamn beats, and the shit be thumping. And bro, like when he drops, it's a thing. Especially in dropping in November, this project was a really solid project. So and we're talking about who I see out there making mm-hmm. waves. Who I see out there really is like putting on for rap. I mean, y'all give Rod Rod Wave his credit. You put him as a rapper, though. Yeah, yes, nigga, he raps. He's not a singer. How much? How, did you listen to his last project? For the last no. two projects. That- that's a problem. So <laughs> no, <laughs> you ain't listened to the last two party. Neither y'all can really make any argument against what I'm saying. So yeah, fair, fair. Man, number four, Jermaine Cole. Jermaine Cole is the fourth best rapper today. Yes, he is. Yes, he is number four on my list. He has dropped some solid projects. Um, he's still the best. Lyrical MC today. Same. Um so you you were still impressed by that uh that feature on Smito project. Uh I didn't even remember that, but yeah, that that was dope too. Um I just like what he's doing. I like what he's doing with his uh with his projects and you know with his mm-hmm. team, the mm-hmm. whole Dreamville records and stuff. I think he's mm-hmm. still you know, he's getting old though, he's getting up in age. So with his next album, I need him to kind of show his age a bit more. Like show us what you've learned, show us how you matured and stuff. So um, but other than that, yeah, I think he would be number four as far as the best rappers today. So yeah, that's my pick. All right, what's your third pick? Number three. Who's who's in number your top three? J I D. Oh wow. Damn. Yeah. Damn, I forgot. That is a good one. Fuck. Damn. I grabbed Damn, Andy, man. That left um, me. My boy, my boy has the ability to really rap. And if you really take time, listen to projects, just listen to kind of even like singles that he drops and just is hot, man. Hmm. He's not he's not disappointing. I think that he still has his room to grow. 
and yeah. um and i think that he just needs to work on his uh album curation in a sense mm-hmm. just the arrangement trying to create and put those songs that are like more sticky for people they like really like on like tiktok or whatever right. in the forefront in the beginning of it so because you want to drop you you know when you're when you're a rapidly rap type nigga you know what i mean you want to drop a 16 track project yeah. but the attention spans of the people right now are hey if it ain't hitting in the first five six pro- songs i ain't really going for it yeah so i i think that's just like one downfall in him is like yo you just don't have the people that are latched in just yet but it, it, mm. he, he has his room he has his room to grow i like i like jid and number three yeah interesting that, that's fair. fair probably probably would be like three or four but that's fair interesting okay mm-hmm. what's yours marlon wasn't my number yeah my number four was right away um little baby is my number three all right be, okay. i feel yeah. like running the rap game literally everything's kind of self-explanatory even the last project where i do feel like everybody's probably main criticism was it it, it was a lot of songs and it really was but the gems are, are there and like i said he really it's not the wordplay. It's not what, how you say it. It just sometimes it feels like he needs to get more grounded in the work. I feel like sometimes he needs to get a little bit more personal. I feel like it's never the rapping ability that's his problem. I just feel like sometimes he he raps in general, not specific. So I, I just feel like in future wise, he needs to just get more personal and get more in touch with what really matters to him at this point. But three, three is I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. I think he like our age, so. Yeah, I don't, I, mean, I, I don't know. The thing that older, the know, downfall with me is little baby. Yeah, what? Like that nigga ain't that old. How much? Yeah, he, I think uh, he's like twenty five. Twenty seven. I bet he's younger than twenty seven. That's what I'm betting. Mm-hmm. I got it. I'm looking at him now. How'd you get it? But better better follow up before you check. Yeah, I bet five dollars, bro. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, check that shit, bro. That nigga ain't no damn. Look at it right there. It's just like twenty seven, nigga. He's twenty seven, bro. Yeah, though he's twenty seven. Damn, bro. God damn. Yo, little jerk is thirty. Oh shit. Okay. Little jerk is thirty. Jeez, it's nigga is old, bro. Little jerk been in the game how long? Bro, nobody put nobody better put little jerk as number one, please. Yeah. Please no. Not even uh, two. Yeah, nah. yeah. Yeah, we'll Come on now. Yeah, nah. Yeah, Can't yeah. really argue that, honestly. But um, my number three is Kodak Black. Okay. I believe that Kodak Black's last album was very good. Um, I think Wait, it really the the the, the volume one, the most recent one, or uh, Back for Everything. Back for Everything. Okay, okay. Back for Everything. Put him over the edge, and I remember saying that um, it's time to take Kodak seriously. And I think mm-hmm. ever since then, you know, with the singles and, you know, what he's done as far as just like the the IG lives and, you know, just everything of who Kodak is. He's an enigma now. He's no longer a rapper. He's bigger than that. And he's I think an um, enigma. he's an enigma, bro. So, yeah, I got to put him at number three, man. I think he's um, I think he's better than a lot of these rappers. He right. don't even rap better than them. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Number three. Who is number two on your list, man? We get into the top two, man. Not Come done. on now. <laughs> number two. Let's go, Rye. <laughs> uh 21 Savage. Bro. Whoa. Number two in a rap game, though. Whoa. Bro, that's my boy, bro. I'm a savage. That's your boy. Slapper, booty, and magic. Yeah, that's, that's your boy. bars that you remember from bro. that's my <laughs> thought like, like, literally, that's the thought that's in my good. mind man i enjoy listening to 21 bro mm. as a rapper um you can go back and you can go listen to any of his taste with metro Boomin and yeah. know that this junk gonna hit yeah. um uh, i know that's- uh i i am and i was was that the stem project it's still pretty yeah. good um for him as like a solo project not being a collab with somebody else yeah and um yeah i think that i think that 21 works so well with others that it just shows like his diversity as an artist man i enjoy him so you think he would win the verses against like a Lil Uzi vert or a kodak mm-hmm. black he would be able to stand his ground he you don't think win. he would win hell no nah. number two on your he, list i think he hell no nah. He's number two on your list, though, bro. Be honest, be honest, raw. Be honest, raw. Ain't no way. You know, there's nothing to be honest about. He put him at number two. 
Yeah. But he put him at number two, but that don't mean he better than no, bro. Fuck yes, it does. Yeah. Bro, bro, so you you better not renege, my nigga. Ain't nah, anybody. I can't renege, bro. I'm, I'm only even 21 at number two, bro. 21 better than right. Uzi? <laughs> what? Bro, Uzi got that's songs. Got it, bro. That's that's like, don't get it. me wrong, but oh, I do enjoy my 21 Savage, bro. Number two. Wow, okay. Okay. Savage. What you, what, what you got, Marlon? <laughs> I'm going to be fair and be realistic. J. Cole's number two. Oh, wow. Just... Consistency, impact, flow, just everything. When he drops, niggas listen. I mean, it's being real. So number two. Mm. Wait, bro. You ain't number two. Definitely. I don't agree with that. Why? He ain't. He's not doing that. He's he not. Ain't. When you hear my number one, you're really gonna be pissed. And you're gonna have a lot of questions. But it's like I'm being fair. If you're talking about rappers today, he's number yeah. two. Not not for no specific reason, but if you ask the niggas, he's number two. Okay. All right. We're going to rock with that for now. My number two, man, is NBA Youngboy. NBA Youngboy yeah, is the uh, second uh, best uh, rapper uh, in the game. Yes. Lord God. Listen, Listen, I didn't want to be that nigga to do it, bro. I didn't want to be looked that crazy when, if I did NBA that. NBA Youngboy is a warlord. That nigga He's a is, warlord. He is the king of the streets right now. You can't talk the streets without talking NBA Youngboy. This man is so good. He could sell his catalog for $15 million and someone would purchase it. This okay. guy, his music is not even that profound. Yeah. But what he has done to the culture is incomparable. Yeah. So I got to put him at number two on the list, man. I got to put him above the rest. <laughs> Who y'all got at number one, man? Who is the best rapper in the game? The best rapper in the game. Mm. Mm. Um, it's Drake, bro. <sighs> Drake number one. <laughs> it's Drake, bro. You just couldn't oh, wait, huh? You Drake, just couldn't bro. wait. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. You're number one, Rob. I don't know, bro. Come on, be honest, bro. Follow your heart. Say, I don't want to say Drake, bro. Drake, but you I know don't. it's true. You know it's true. Don't. You know it's true. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody hitting like that. Ain't nobody popping like that, bro. Come on now. When he's when he dropped, niggas listen. Niggas start their whole day to go listen. <laughs> it's her loss. Bad. It's Drake loss. Nigga, Drake took over the, a collab project, bro. It's Drake album, nigga. No twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what it is, bro. You can't like. And he's everywhere, bro. You see that nigga all the time, bro. Like the people want to know, bro. Rob, who your number one. The number one rapper in the game right now, right now, is Kanye West. Bro, whoa, you're lying. Kanye West, he's not serious. Look at his face. He's trying to rationalize it. He's trying to rationalize that shit. He's trying to figure it out. Please tell me what he's right now. No, bro. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna have to be Drizzy Dre, bro. Yes, sir. My my arm has been twisted. Al Farrow, nigga. Yes, sir. <laughs> Al Farrow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes, sir, nigga. Like, because like, you can't escape it. Let's be honest about the shit. I know niggas obviously don't want to put Drake at number one, but let's be real. Like, mm. ain't nobody hitting like that, hitting yeah, like that man. I can't, I can't deny my man what he what he's gotten. You, you know, he, it, he got the, he got the backing of the Jews, bro. He gonna win at all times. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. Dude. It's Jersey, bro. Come yeah, on, man. Ben, ben, who you got, man? The number one rapper in the game. There you go. It's Aubrey. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's all yeah. We all yeah. hate the same one. Like, come on, dog. Like, bro, we all hate this man. But it's like, God damn it. You be like, like damn. Because obviously, you know, the game, the obvious nature is nobody put Kendrick on their top five list for obvious reasons, right? But at that point, bro, we all knew Cole was going to be there and Drip was going to be at the top. That's two things that was, that was going to happen regardless. Kendrick is number six on my list. Kendrick is not even on the list. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Like, okay. I, of course, like the Kendrick stand in me is like, oh man, I want to put Kendrick, but it's just like, bro, with what I've gotten from you this year, it's, it's not a rap. It's just it's like, like, it's like, it's, like it's, a, it's, it's in a different pocket. It's just not. Why rap. you keep it's saying not, that, bro? But it's rap. 
It's rap. It's just I, not. we've heard weirder rap albums, bro. So yeah, but that for him, that was a weird ass album, bro. A lot of that shit was just weird, bro. It wasn't even weird. Even it was like, just even it was too video, deep. It was too woke. It, it was too much, bro. It was, it was too woke. Bro. Bro. I told you. My I've listened to the album. Now. I've listened it's to the album so many times, shit. bro. Anyway. And I've just been trying to figure out why it was so buns or why I didn't like it. Like that's the only reason why I listened to it. I was like, yo, I don't understand it. What happened here? What was the downfall that caused this to happen? I don't sometimes I want to be a rapper because I really want to know like what takes you to that pocket. Like what makes you really be want to be like, you know what? Fuck all that shit. I do this. Like I want to know like because rappers get weird at a point when they get to a certain level of success. I want to know like what what, what happened to Kendra to make him get a little weird. Like I want to auntie became a man now. <laughs> Stop, bro. She taught him how to rap. Okay, you realize his bro. auntie taught him how to rap? She the reason why we got Kendrick, bro. Okay, and? Damn, bro, but respect his auntie. <laughs> Uncle. Respect his auntie? Nah, for real. For <laughs> <laughs> real. My auntie is <laughs> uncle now. Bro. Yeah, man, Kendrick, he just, he's falling off. I ain't gonna say he's falling off. That's he's falling off, off, man. Falling off isn't accurate either. I'm gonna just he's say like, off. bro, I tell you, he just in a different he's taking level. Taking that Lupe fiasco yeah. route. He gone. I'm just yeah, saying though, Marlon, everybody yeah, can't stay at the top bro. forever, bro. He can't. He's not trying to compete, though. He's just making music, bro. He's not trying to compete, bro. So? I don't what think that got to do with the quality of the music. Yeah. Quality of the music. Okay. It, okay. To me, it was high quality music, but it, the, the message and the shit was confusing. A lot of the shit that we got was confusing. A lot of it didn't make sense. And then when you got it, it made it sense. Don't say that. It, it made sense. It, it, it's it, just, it was too woke, make, man. It was too woke. A lot of shit kind of was just like, it slid right over my head. That shit made no damn sense to me. I ain't <laughs> doing it. You keep on slid, right? Yeah. I tried hard to really get like the point of all of it. Every song, what? father, father time, all the shit. It is kind of. It was a good. It was a okay for him, what? but for for someone that we considered number one for like I don't know how many years, that was a wild ass way to come back. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Came man. Back. Sad. Keem was having hard in your ass. That's crazy, bro. Fuck Keem. Keem, the reason why we got <laughs> these problems, bro. Oh, no, bro. Imagine baby Keem party was slapping way harder than Kendrick party. Baby, oh, and I can say that why we have these problems, bro. Uh, he's the root of all this. Damn, he really he, is, though. He, he really can't. Is. I'm not gonna blame Baby Keem for Kendrick. He I is, him. bro. Bro, Baby Keem is literally Kendrick. It's Kendrick, bro, and just in a different form, bro. No, Kendrick Sorry. is Baby Keem now. No, bro. exactly <laughs> that. Oh, I think mean, Kendrick is right. All baby bro. Nah, I don't know where y'all getting that from. Because Baby Keem writes. No, I know. But speaking of Kendrick, though, yeah, we got a man coming back from a six year hiatus. Yeah, goes by the name of Ab Soul, bruh, coming out with a project in December called Herbert. 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 So, how do y'all feel about that, man? Ab Soul, what are y'all expecting from this project? I, I rock up your man, nothing, your boy. Damn. Damn. not a damn thing. Damn, mm. like. Excited? No, why am I excited to see this man, bro? Mm. Why are you doing episode? Why, bro? It's not 20, <laughs> it's not 20, it's not 2014, it's not 2015, it's not 16. We don't care no more, bro. Yo, mm. that shit gonna set come hit my Apple music, and then it's just gonna slowly fade away down that recently added. Damn. I don't see a purpose in bro. Truly, your career ended. Back then, bro. Damn. Mm -mm. He done. Do you know what stuff has happened since you've dropped, bro? Mm. Like, ain't nobody was like anticipating this. You know what I mean? Like, we we was anticipating like Kendrick because it's Kendrick. It was like, oh shoot, yeah, we need you to follow up on that. Do it, thou wilt, bro. That was fine. Yeah, cool. Good job, bro. What what am I caring for now, man? Mm. Just, just. Ugh. <laughs> just an L, Damn. bro. I think it's side. Damn, man. It is. It's a straight side, bro. Damn. Very disappointing, man. Herbert. 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 Is that his actual name? I think that's his actual name. Is it? I think it is. Whatever it is. Bro, why? I don't... Why is that your title? That ain't making me be like, oh, yeah, bro, I gotta go listen to Herbert. 
That shit don't even sound right. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna do Arab like that, right? Bro, bro watch Marlon. What's the bet that album cover gonna be black and white, bro? <laughs> bro, high probability of a black and white album cover. Don't nobody really care about they cover no more. Bro, it's gonna be you gotta, like, you gotta allow you know? different levels. You gotta allow different levels of an artist like career to shine, bro. He had a different level of his life, bro. And he, you forget, you did. You was a big ass fan of Absol at one point. So at this point, twenty twenty two, you gotta get a man his fly. You gotta let him, let him shine a little bit because ain't like TDE doing anything else. But other than Doji, they, they need to they need to focus on her. They need to focus on her. Stop giving these other bums. Well, they are focusing on her. Let them all niggas shine. Let them old niggas shine, bro. No, bro. I hope no, J Rock come bro. back. Let them all let, let them old niggas that got on the roster do something. Let the shit, man. Shine. That man top need to tell him, hey yo, what what they say to Isaiah? What they said to Isaiah on the Sun's Tyree? Hey man, I need that album, bro. They should have been hit that man with that. Stop playing. When I was like SZA and Dolce, the only thing y'all niggas got, like no hate though, but like SZA don't even rep y'all, bro. I don't care what no SZA really don't. SZA really hate y'all niggas for real, for real. SZA really don't rep the TDE camp, bro. Oh, she really don't. She really hate them niggas. Like, she hate them niggas for real. Like, damn it, I signed with the wrong camp. I signed with the wrong niggas, man. Fuck these niggas, man. Man, look, if he ain't got no Jay Z feature, you could just throw that shit in the trash. Bro, it's absolute, bro. <laughs> you go ahead, throw that shit in the trash. It's just too late, man. Man, he gotta blame Top Dog for this shit, bro. No, nah, he can blame himself, bro. Fuck that. Blame, blame the camp. Nah, bro, it's not his fault. They bro, keep holding them niggas back. He was going through shit. He was going nah, through shit. Nah, they keep holding them niggas back. They keep telling them, nah, y'all can't drop yet. They be holding I them wonder, niggas for hostage. I wonder hostage. why they do that. Because they, they think that. it's not a good time, and they want to drop it at the right bro. time. Not now, happen, though, because Absol isn't was it wasn't the most profitable member of the shit anyway. So you telling the nigga not to drop this for his his like steam, bro? It don't really like you slowing the niggas down. If you ask me, facts. If anything, like look, bro, I'm them gonna say this. a lot and then not be quality. Then you drop not to drop at all, and then when you do drop, it's trash. It don't make sense. You want to know like, who's gonna be on this project? Who that bitch ass nigga reason? <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, bro. <laughs> He's gonna be he said that shit like he got beef with that nigga, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't like reason, bro. bro. I reason, bro. Yeah, relax, bro. <laughs> What's What's your reason, bro? Stupid ass. <laughs> but nah, but nah, though. Like, you know, bro. Reason, reason, the reason, reasons why. God, it got I hate, I hate that man name so much. <laughs> the reasons, <laughs> reasons why. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. No, Absol is the reason why reason is here. Mm. Yo, bro, that's his protege, bro. <laughs> Yo, he's going to be like, hey, man, come be on my project, Herbert. <laughs> Can he reason, bro? No, stop doing that man like that, bro. Bro, man. It, it's kind of sad. It's just very it's sad. It's very sad, <laughs> man, because they, bro, they fucking up this, this. Legacy. Incredible lyricist, man. That's an incredible Legacy. lyricist. Now his just bro, his career is going down the drain, bro. Absolutely bro, the best, rap, bro. You said what, bro? You can't rap forever, bro. That's just how the label games go, bro. Bro, but you don't stop rapping for six years. You don't, yeah, stop bro. You don't do that. Years. Years. Not six years. Yeah, forget niggas. Have, niggas live their life, bro. You have to That's be a rapper. Fine. Cool. Live, live your life. life. But niggas for really seven years, bro. Come bro, on, Kendrick did it. Kendrick did, did, did the shit. So what are you talking about? Kendrick had different. something that held the test of time. Yes. Talking, that people would still bump bro. I can yeah. cut the radio on right now. He might come out this hiatus and might drop some fire shit. You never really know, but you got to give a nigga time to live, but rap can't be your whole entire life. No, bro. That's if you a rapper, bro. yes, it can. If you a rapper, yes, it can. If you a rapper, yes, it can. Yes, bro. That's what you get paid to do. You get paid to rap. So we need some bars. He couldn't drop an EP. Well, he couldn't drop a little five song EP, bro. 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 All right, then get out the game. Bye, nigga. Literally, stop. Don't come back, bro. You're fine. We we know what you did. TD got you. TD got you. Man, the game has passed him by. He old now. Game passed a lot of rappers. Niggas ain't listening to him. Like I said the other day, bro, I was talking to somebody Cortez, else. I was playing his shit. And and I was like, hey, you remember Absol? They was like, who's Absol? He said, who? Absol? <laughs> he said, who? <laughs> 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 
Bro, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Niggas don't know who Ass Soul is anymore. Absolutely the, the best. This shit's sad, man. bro. That shit's sad, bro. Like, why they do this man like that, bro? He finna drop a project Ooh. and ain't nobody gonna hear this shit, bro. This shit look, gonna, bro, sell gonna sell five thousand copies, look, he's gonna, bro. He's gonna, he's gonna no, 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 don't take my point. I'm taking gonna sell five thousand <laughs> copies. <laughs> bro. I was just about to say that. Damn. It is, bro. You already know Damn, it is, bro. That's what, man. He better That's have Kendrick on that shit, man. Stop playing no, with us, bro. He better give Put me Kendrick a on that shit. I don't even care, bro. You this is your last lifeline, bro. Put Kendrick on your you shit, bro. You better. That's all you Kendrick. got. For real, you bro. Better. You better have you better have J Rock on that shit. You better have Kendrick on that shit. You better have Jay Z on that shit, bro. Like <laughs> this is it, bro. This is all you got left, bro. No. <laughs> it's either you better have Jay or you better have Kendrick, bro. I don't, I don't That's care it, what, what we talking about right here. I swear, at all, oh, bro. Herbert. Like Why Kendrick better shit, help you get that Jay Z feature or got this shit, man. These niggas hate yeah. me. So what yeah. you talking about, bro? You think it's gonna be like, good? I feel like, I feel like, I feel like based on like, what, bro? Me out. See the single because it's, it's, I did fuck with the single that he did drop the little video and all that shit. I was actually I I, I, I fuck with the vibe. I kind of like that little spacey, depressing ass shit. Honestly, truly, it's not gonna be no damn smash, but I think it's gonna be a solid. It's gonna be a solid project. I'm gonna get a nigga his his flowers. Then if we ain't heard the nigga in a minute, so I'm gonna just hope that the project turns out to be straight. And if it yeah. don't, I mean, I really care because like the expectations is like right here. It's not that high or low. You gonna right give him flowers regardless, man. You gonna get yeah, you, you gotta get here yeah, because he was a rapper in this game, bro. You gotta get niggas flowers regardless, bro. We can't do niggas like man, that, bro. Nah, man, they gotta deserve that shit, man. But he did. He but he been he been the game this long. We were talking about this nigga when we, we was kids and shit. So I mean, or younger. So yeah, I mean, you gotta get niggas flowers. He's still here. You still, bro, you still yeah, got flowers, Mar. Mar be acting like we ain't give this man no flowers ever, bro. We talking about bro. <laughs> We gave Today, you flowers. You gotta still give your flowers are now dead, and I'm not giving you no more. Like, like you can't even name a song on the last album, bro. And you trying to give him his flowers? You can't name one song on that last album, bro. Like what are we talking about, man? You gotta give niggas their flowers, bro. Bro, stop, bro. Take the cape off, bro. Take the cape off, please. <laughs> Captain, <laughs> Captain, Captain, save artists for yeah. real. I'd probably be trying to save everybody. Take that shit. I don't care, man. You take that shit. Here's what it is. But all right, y'all. Let's move on, man. So yeah. let's talk about spending habits in a relationship. Yeah. So if y'all could give the people a percentage, what's the percentage of the amount that you're spending versus your girl? What percentage would you give to people? What percentage would I give? Yeah. You think you spend like 90% of the money or... 75 percent 60 percent what was like what do you mean in that like are you saying like Uh, oh if there was just a if there was a pot of spending on dates and everything anytime you got to spend money or anytime there's something that needs to be paid what percentage of that are you paying 80 versus her okay 80 to 20 all right what you got Marlon? right now based off certain certain circumstances between 80 and 89 percent okay I'm gonna concede to y'all because um I'm not in a relationship. Um mm-hmm. I think the last time I was in a relationship, it was more like a 89% type thing. Yeah, something like that. So well, like, <clears throat> can, I, can I make one statement? Yeah, it's not, I think in as a man in 2022, I think that because I think we, we all can pick like really good people. I don't think necessarily it's a saying of we want to pay that much. I just think as a man, circumstantially, we you just have to have, you just gotta have it. You just gotta have the money in your pocket. I feel like you the man, so well, shit don't happen unless you make it happen in, in certain instances. So if you don't got money, you know what I'm saying? Ain't shit happening. Because I honestly, yeah, there are females that take care of you. There are females that pay for shit. And there's, there's good girls that pay for dates and say, oh, baby, I got it. But let's be honest about that. You'll do that a lot more than she'll ever do that. And that's just mm. what things are. So it's like, shit, you might, you might say, oh, I'm buy this for my girl. I'll buy this for my girl. Oh, I'll pay for this. Oh, baby, I got it. I'll pay for this. So when you really think about these things and add that shit up, yeah, nigga, you paying a lot out of pocket, and a lot of times it's because you want to, not because sometimes you have to. You see what I'm saying? So it's yeah. kind of like it's it's the. Would y'all set. want the percentage to change, or y'all cool with how it is that ratio? I think that it's not. I don't want the percentage to change. I think it's just I would rather it be offered more often. Mm. If that makes sense, like. 
I'm used to it. <laughs> like I'm used to, oh yeah, I gotta spend this and do this. It's like, all right, fine. But yeah, that's that's what I think. I think it's more of like, yeah, you know, I wish the percentage what I don't think it wants to change. I think it's just mm-hmm. yeah. But uh yeah, speaking of that whole spending habits thing, man. So yeah. we got a familiar face that we've seen before. Sweetie? Bruh. No, no. nigga. When I'm in a relationship, I don't believe in spending my money on my man. His money is for me. My money is for me. Okay, so that means when we go out, we go on dates, we go shopping, we do whatever, we are using his money. My money does not get touched. Okay, that is just the standard. Argue with your mama. So what you spend your... <laughs> you can't even you want to say that. There ain't it's just thing. like... What do you mama, say? That's for what mama what's her face, bro. And his name. Let me ask you a question. Now, if Sawidi said that, what would you say? Then there'd be a whole mm-hmm. conversation. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Like, that's a good okay, question. Okay, we'll, we'll be quiet. Yeah, we'll, be, we'll, be, we'll be like, true. We'll be like, true. Hell okay, yeah, yeah, true. Like, no, that shit is fucked up both ways. A lot like, of girls man. do feel this way, though. A lot and of that's them. That's the problem. That's the fucking problem. Bitch, get a job. Do something. No, they don't work. They working. Shit, I'm working on front of. If you, if you think everything that I make is, is your money too. And then, oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, then, oh, we're going to go back one more time. I guess you fucking and sucking in. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I guess you fucking and sucking all the time, man. Because I'm just saying, there is no, it, it's not, it's not balanced enough. Like, it's I, not, I, I, want, man. I want more for man, bro. That shit is crazy. A lot of hoes think like this, man. The question is, can we do this under this economy? That's the real question. We Can we matter, actually bro. afford? They don't care about that. This. They don't care about that. Like, they don't like, care about no economy. You know, the you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> they gonna work three jobs to try to take care of a bitch. Like, come on, now. That shit don't make and I just feel care. like on some real shit. Like, if you a woman and you dealing with a man and you just taking all his resources like that, eventually there has to be something that kicks in where you say, you know what? Let me reciprocate. Let me do something for him because I know he's spending a lot of time and money on me. But it's like they don't seem to think that way. It, no, that's good, brother, they think they're the prize. They think that he's so blessed to have me. They 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 don't. They're not thinking about the unit. They're not thinking about oh, let, let, let me make sure he's okay. I'll tell you, the modern women to me, I just be feeling like yeah, you got a lot of girls that got traditional values and they take care of their man. But bro, them hoes are too far in between. That a lot of them hoes are probably already pregnant or already married. We got so, hoes like, right now talking about oh. He better take me somewhere nice on the first date. Why? Why? I don't know you. I can't go to Applebee's, baby. I can't go to coffee or some shit. Like, I don't know you like that. I don't know you. Why would I take you out to fucking, uh, what's a nice restaurant, y'all? TGF Ready? I'm not taking you to Houston. (laughs) I'm not taking you to Roof Chris. Roof Chris? Why the fuck would I take you to Roof Chris? I'm not taking you to Texas Roll House. Why would I get you some lamb chops when I don't know you like that? Hey, man, hey, man. You just trying to show something different. Not take your ass nah, to the man, like, It's your responsibility to show her something Go different, fast. bro. Bullshit. Oh well. Bullshit, man. That ass shit, man. It's just I like, look, AJ, you the nigga. Fuck out of here. You know, it's just certain contracts, man, that we sign and we don't even realize it. If I'm contract. spending this big money, you're signing yeah. a contract that says, "Okay, I give you what you want." So you give me what I want. <laughs> no, bro. So no, it's not that's that's not how they view it, bro. They don't. They care. don't get it. They don't get it, bro. But like, like I don't have to do any of that. You. But just see, that's the thing, no, bro. Niggas be playing into this shit too, though. Niggas no. be out here giving their money away. And that's the problem too. They, they want to be with a girl, bro. Stop yeah. giving your fucking money away. Oh no, no, but you can't do that. Ben, you can't do that, bro. We all know. Like I'm looking for a booty. I don't know why the niggas do it, Ben. I'll pay for it. What you mean? What you mean? That's what he said. What you mean? Be fair. Niggas be starving on that. Niggas want coochie, bro. That's the that's the main reason why niggas do this shit. Like I, I don't care what you. No, no, no. You gotta speak up and say that. You gotta say that. A lot of people, a lot of people, coochie <laughs> motivated. On the back. A lot of people be coochie motivated. I feel like, <laughs> hear me out. There's men that love girls for who they are. There's men that want, that want love and shit like that. But it's mm-hmm. also, bro, niggas want fuck, and niggas will get in a relationship to <laughs> fuck. And you get, you get consistent pussy, bro. A nigga, bro, a nigga will give his whole damn check if he knew he gets some pussy at the end of it. That's just mm. like, and that's sad. But that's in today's sad, country, man. okay, mm-hmm. modern women aren't necessarily being more, it's just they're not giving it up as free as you think it is. Now it, it comes with a price tag or a 
We got to stop like, that like, shit, like, though, man. Pussy like, don't like, cost like, that much, man. No, but they keep acting like, like pussy like, costs a lot. That shit don't cost like, a let's lot. Let's be honest. What you always see is you always got to pay for it. You always got to pay for it. I don't care if you but pay for it. though. Listen, inflation. I don't care if you're for a nigga, I I hop, you for a prostitute, you in a relationship, or you in a, a friend or whatever. Your property for taxes it. have gone down. It's cheap and now. Pussy still, and that pussy's still going up. Nigga, that shit's, that shit's expensive out there, bro. Niggas is broke for what? real. We in a recession. Pussy's not expensive, bro. We in a recession. She's just recession. overcharging you, niggas. That's they what's going on. They, they overcharging they you, in general. Niggas. They overcharging in general, though. They don't, though, bro. I'm telling you, no. bro. I have seen yeah. the light. I have seen the light. I am coming back with the Ten Commandments. I'm trying to show y'all the way. You have to listen. It's cheap as hell. Stop letting these motherfuckers make you pay all this money, man. It don't cost that much. Mm -hmm. If she ain't fucking with you, stop spending money on her, bro. Yeah. It's that simple, bro. Y'all be out here going broke for these hoes. They don't give a fuck about you. They collecting their check and they moving on to the next nigga that's in their phone. Mm -hmm. And they finna get a date. Tomorrow, when well, y'all niggas up there spending all this money and gifts and shit, man, oh, stop. Oh, these hoes don't love you. We've disappointed Ben, y'all. Oh, I'm talking to the man, bro. I'm talking to the man, bro. Cause we got, bro. It's so bad. We got a girl that looks like this talking like this. She looks like that talking like that. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about right now? Like, she not even, bro. She not even like. I'm not even going to go in on her because I ain't trying to do all that. But I'm just saying, man, like, fellas, listen. The price of pussy has gone down. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, time to stake your claim. I'm not going to die if y'all don't get no pussy, bro. Let's keep, let's keep it a stat. Your self-respect matters more than some damn pussy, bro. Facts. Like, Facts. honestly, truly, I, I know I know women will put us through a lot and we say a lot, talk a lot of shit, because I, I know our pursuit is the pussy, but we got to have a lot more self-respect. We got to tell these hoes no and just be firm in that, bro. It's what it is, bro. And all respect to women. I understand as a woman, you can ask for whatever you want. I feel like you, you feel like you're the prize, baby. You go get that shit. But at the same time, don't get mad when, when the niggas be choosing and picky about, about the women that they want. Facts. And speaking of telling hoes no, what do y'all think about the 90-day rule? Is that effective? What you mean? Is that the one where it's like, uh, where she makes you wait for ninety days? You give away ninety days. It's not real. What do you mean? That's not real. I think when we was kids and shit, you used to hear the ninety day rule, like you, oh, I gotta, I gotta talk to a bitch for a couple months before we get the pussy. I just feel like that's a very primitive ass take in twenty twenty two. I do feel like mm -hmm. if you fuck with a person, y'all vibes right and y'all connected and y'all shit like that, you gonna fuck a bitch on the first day. I feel like the timeline never mattered. I just felt mm -hmm. like you gotta make a woman comfortable enough to for for her to feel like to be that that be that way sexually with you. But it, nigga, it don't take ninety days. And if it, and she take she's giving you ninety days flat, bro, it might not be the bitch for you. I don't care. I don't. That's a lot. Ninety days lot of time. flat, that's my boy. Time. That's three months, my nigga. That's a lot of time. But you think I'm open? I mean, honestly, it depends on the goal. As a woman, what is your goal? I mean, is your even goal if you to... date Ari, though, like, do you want to wait that long in the pussy trash? Or... That's the like... thing, though. I mean, it's it's not really about that because you can make somebody wait. See, this is the thing about niggas. Mm -hmm. Niggas will wait for years. Yeah. But they don't mind waiting for years. So what is the goal? Is the goal to get married? Is the goal just to date? Is the goal just to be in a relationship? That's what you have to understand before you try to make somebody wait because we're human at the end of the day niggas have needs so why you sitting up there saying okay i'm gonna make him wait for 90 days is that really effective maybe maybe not a lot of guys out here they ain't getting play like that so you make mm -hmm. them wait they probably gonna move on a single man rising they rising right now you know so it just depends mm -hmm. on the goal um it just really like, cause certain women, they just think that their pussy is golden when it's not. It's like the price of pussy is going down. Especially, see, this is what you got to understand, Marlon. Everybody has flaws. So you're sitting up here trying to sell me a dream that your pussy is worth 90 it's not days. Even there, bro. Bro, hold bro, on, hold on. I, you're trying to, hold on. You're trying to sell a dream that your pussy is worth 90 days, right? 90. But you have flaws, so now I have to compete with your flaws, and I still have to pay on dates. It's a cost-benefit method. 
is it worth it? Not really, not really, unless you were just an amazing woman and you could help me flip my dollar and turn it into a hundred, then it's worth the time. But honestly, a lot of women are not doing that. The oh, average yeah. woman is not going to bring that much value to your life where you say, you know what? I'm cool on that. I'll wait for 90 days. It's not going to happen. So it's either you get that shit up when the vibe is right or go about your day, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. So how you feel about it, Marlon? I just feel like the price of pussy is going up, but the quality of the experience is going down. I don't feel like. Really? I don't. Hear he, 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 what I said. The price okay. is going up, but the quality is going down. A lot of men are going to fuck on the, 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 the model I see on the graph, like single men is rising. Niggas are getting lonelier because a lot of the like the self-respect and the generation of women doing this and doing that. Bro, it's, dating is hard, bro. I feel like it's harder to date in 2022 than it probably ever was. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like... I just feel like, okay, actually to the back, I feel like it might be easy in certain pockets, but I still feel like it's hard to fuck out there. I feel Bro. like for a man to get the bad bitches, quote unquote, I feel like it's not as easy as you would. As the you post-COVID would era, bro, is easier, bro. It's post-COVID. But then again, I wasn't dating, so I, I don't know, but I don't think it's easier. I don't believe it's easier. I feel like it's I'm telling you, bro, I'm dating. I feel, like, I feel like when COVID probably just ended for sure, but I think right now when shit got a little balanced out now, I don't, I don't know about that shit. I don't know. I don't think it's like, easy, bro. man. A lot of these hoes are lonely. Lonely. These hoes are lonely. I am bringing y'all to oh, light, man. I, I know they're lonely. I know that. Oh, you get, nigga, I, I work around women every damn day. These hoes are lonely. All right, then, I'm, bro. Man, I'm going to give you that, but they still feel like they pussy gold, though. They, feel, they still feel like their pussy got more value than your dick will ever have. So, for sure. you know. Sure. But that's because of society, man. Society is propped them up in that why, way. That's why it be hard, bro. Society made, made, these, made, made women think this way. Hey, man. I just want y'all to peep this whole thing. The Real Mad Podcast comes full circle at all times. We start with Sweetie, and then we see that Sweetie is the problem. <laughs> these, the, these female rappers are the problem. They, they tell us. They do this. Damn. They create. They they be trying to make the make this shit gold. Make they put the gold. Stop it. Stop it. It's not all time gold. Damn. It's not. Know your worth. You and saw my see, girl. People be saying that, right? Know your mm-hmm. worth. Mm-hmm. What if you ain't got no fucking worth? What is my worth? It should be. It should be build your worth. That should be the fucking model. Build, build your, your worth. worth. Okay. You ain't got no it's fucking like, word. Like, a lot of these women, word? dog, let's be honest, man. Let's be honest. A lot of okay. these women ain't got nothing to offer for real besides they pussy. Uh, let's uh, keep it a bug, man. So uh, it's not about know your worth. Build your worth. What can you offer a man to make him wait 90 days? It's women out there that's like, they got the superlatives where you can say, damn, you know what? I'll wait. But most of these women, fuck no, ain't nobody waiting 90 days for that shit. Mm-hmm. And then we gotta argue too. Yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Hey man, so how important is personal space in a relationship? Bro, very important. Why I'm the perfect person for this question? <laughs> very important. It is. I don't like people near me all the time. <laughs> like. I can't stress this enough. If you can't do your own thing without me around, talk to him. Please. Oh, good Lord. I just, I, I need my own space. I need my own time. I need my own sleep. Mm-hmm. Literally. Talk to him. I don't be feeling like having to, like, uh, yeah, bro. Personal space, bro. Leave me alone. Mm. Leave me alone. Damn. Uh, like I think there's this ongoing joke within like like friend groups of mine that if I don't want to be there, I won't be there. <laughs> like, if I gotta go, I'm gonna go. I don't care what yeah. what y'all on. I'll come up with a way to get up out of the situation. I'm, mm-hmm. I need my space away from people. It see y'all. I'm out. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. How you feel about it, Marlon? What do you think about personal space in a relationship? I feel like it's healthy. I feel like you, I don't know, at a point you're gonna get bored of a person spending nine every single time with them. I feel like 
shit, she got to make you miss her a little bit. You got you got to make her miss you a little bit. I feel like, yeah, when y'all in the married stage and y'all live together, even then, I feel like people have their own spaces of the house. They can do their own thing. I feel like it's a healthy, normal thing. Now, too much space is a bad thing, but I guess you got that's self, that's self-defined in your relationship. You got to find a perfect balance of how much time do y'all spend together and how much time do y'all spend apart. But I do feel like it's a healthy thing to not to really have space. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to be around your mm. girl nuts all day. And she ain't got to be mm. on your nuts all damn day. I thought that's a damn honeymoon shit in a relationship. You don't need to, like, it's cool, bro. She, she going to be here. She's in, she's in here with you, bro. It's all right, bro. The pussy ain't going nowhere. Yeah. It's facts. Man, I'll take it a step further. It's necessary. Yeah. Yeah. It's necessary to have your personal space, especially as a man, because you're still trying to learn who you are as a person. So you can't be all up under somebody because then you start to... Uh, find yourself kind of your energy starts to get drained your energy yep. starts to get poured into women see the thing about women is the reason why they can be around men all the time and they love to be around us and stuff is because they know that they can feel safe so they know that they when they're around us they're able to be free yeah they're able to relax but yeah. the problem with that is that energy is going somewhere so they're getting our energy. They're picking up our ideas. They're picking up our lingo, our slang, how we move, how we talk, our mindset. But what are we getting from them? So if only one person is pulling. <laughs> <Could you? yeah. laughs> so if only one person is pulling energy, what's happening to the other person? They're losing energy. So as a man, you have to regain, you have to recharge your energy by being alone and doing things on your own. You know, you got to take side quests sometimes. Side quests. You got to go ahead and do your own thing sometimes. And then you come back to your woman and, you know, things should be better. You know, yeah. you show her the way. This is what I've learned over time. But if you just always under your woman, you're not going to learn nothing new. And she's going to leave you for somebody else because she's like, damn, this dude got more tricks than you. Why does he have more tricks? Because he's been on his own more. Yeah. He's been weathered through the storm more. So, yeah, man, men just got to, you know. Everybody need their own personal space, even women. For me, yeah. man, sometimes I don't like talking. And it's ironic because I'm on a podcast, but sometimes I just don't want to talk. I want to be quiet, mm -hmm. you oh, know, and, and women don't, they don't get that shit sometimes, man. They just love to talk, blah, 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 blah. Don't be talking about nothing. Like, just be rambling. Just don't. I'm just like, bro, chill out. Like, let me shut up sometime. Let me be quiet. I like the See, peace. At the time in my life, I'm like, oh, no, we got to gotta talk to him. Now. Mm -hmm. As I'm getting older, I'm just like, I don't even feel like talking. I'm just here. Because um, it's the, like you talk all the if time. The conversation, you know? yeah, if the out. conversation I is in a small sense of that. Like I feel like when I, I want my own peace and peace and quiet time. But if we together, I mean, if you talk, I mean, I get because like I can tell you're interested about talking to me. I mean, it is what it is. As long as you ain't rambling all fucking day about nothing. But if we talking a lot, I mean, I ain't mad at it. I feel like it's, that's a normal thing because it's just you and her at the end of the day. It, it got to be a healthy balance. That's all about you creating the healthy balance of your relationship between the times that you can have to yourself and the times that y'all can spend together. Because honestly, I think y'all not talking to when y'all together is a concerning sign because it's like y'all not talking. Wait, and it's like, what are y'all talking about when y'all do talk? Like, like if the conversation isn't yeah. developing me in any way, sometimes I don't be feeling. Like bro, but that's right not gonna be that's that's not life, bro. Every conversation ain't gonna be developing. Sometimes she gonna yeah, want to show you that show. She gonna want to show you the show on TikTok. She gonna say, "Baby, look at this." Like, yeah, female can be simple in the mindset, just like you know what I'm saying, like, bro. And I had to realize that. And it, bro, you have to engage with her. Let let her say what she gonna say. Let her get that thought that thought out. I'm telling you, there will be another fucking nigga that will that will be there. Oh, like, oh, I listen to you, and she'll leave you because that nigga listen. That's that's really it. So you gotta find a perfect balance in your relationship of what's worth doing it. And what's worth <laughs> not worth it. <laughs> 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 Yo, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. And you know, some of my co-hosts, you know, these niggas don't really do <laughs> but but you know, hey, it is what it is, man. It's I'm, not about I'm not giving, giving a fuck, bro. That's it's just the thing. Like, it's not that I don't care. Care. It's just like sometimes, like, read the room, bro. You know yeah. damn well I'm not listening to this right now. Yeah. Or man. I'm like, or that I'm not really going to engage in this. That's the thing. Yeah. That's, like, that's it right there, Ra. It. Read the room. They don't read the room. Everybody not trying to talk all the time, every single day, the same way. Like, read the room sometimes. Mm. Like, learn your partner and learn, okay, how is he feeling this day? You know, how do you feel? Let's talk about that. 
let's not just talk about some shit that I don't care about. Like that saying, shit don't make sense. Y'all, but but you have to you have to lead or shit. Y'all gotta you gotta hold the game that you pick as well as well to have meaningful conversations. Because if y'all don't, yeah, right. you won't be talking about real shit all the time. But so pick up a person who's willing to have meaningful conversations and want to talk to you. But because then you want to feel the way that you're feeling. Because the honest and truly, that means you never had meaningful conversations or enough meaningful conversations with somebody that you fucking. That just that's just what it is. Fucking. Yeah, bro, so What's some of the main reasons why relationships don't last? We always talk about, you know, what you need in a relationship, but why don't certain relationships last? What would be some of those reasons? Well, I'm a lead since I'm already talking. Relationships don't last for like, I'm gonna say a total of three things. I'm gonna say it's fi- financial security. Sometimes Ooh. it's ego. And some, and a third time it's, it's, it's the one, it's, I'm gonna say social media. I, I don't know if I say the one or not. I'm gonna say social media. And I know that's really bro. It just I feel like not nowadays when men and women have their own expectations about how a relationship gonna go. And I feel like the men be wanting simple shit. They want to fuck, they want to do this, they want to do that. I feel like women be having some, some they do it for the look. They have a, a model image of how they want they want certain shit to look. And sometimes certain ideals in your relationship is gonna clash. That's just what it is. I feel like you're two two different people coming together trying to trying to make this shit work. Y'all not gonna agree on everything, and I feel like sometimes when we argue with females or they argue with us, we never get to the point of just letting shit go and being saying like, okay, I fucked up. I'll let it go. I'll move on. Like, bro, it's because sometimes you gotta let that shit go, and you're not gonna like your bitch every day. <laughs> <laughs> you you're, you're not you're not you're not you're not, you're not, you're not gonna like your <laughs> you're not i want to show this on puck you're not you're not gonna like your bitch every day like like and that's hey, no. <laughs> like hell man like, and, and his thing like, that's, what, and that's a cool i live by you're not gonna like your partner every day but his thing give her enough credibility to, to try to work some shit out and that shit then she, she ain't like flex and she ain't working some shit out. Take your ass back and go fuck them hoes, my nigga. Like it's it, it no bitch. <laughs> but, Damn. You, know, you could either be the understanding partner who's gonna try to make the shit work, but even me, and every man has their limits. And imagine you trying to be the understanding supporter partner, and that shit don't work. But you better go, God, there's hoes out there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like don't don't settle for less, but make try to make it work. I just feel like that's mm. the biggest thing. Communicate, actually communicate, and try to make it work. And if you're a broke nigga, go get you a, go get you a bitch who ain't got no money yet. Or go get you a bitch who in school and got if no money. Broke, go get a bro. I, 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 I if you broke and you know that you're financially not not ready for certain things, either work on that, work on yourself, or two, you get your partner who's who's on a who's on the uprise. Get you somebody who's trying to figure it out. Get you somebody who's like, but they gotta make sense to you though. I feel like only only you as a person would know what type of what type of person is willing to deal with. Mm. So Rob, what would be some of those reasons why relationships don't last? Lack lack of spontaneous moments, hmm. or like going yeah. to go do random shit, or like, like lack of like uh like a lead or assertion. Mm. I think like you're waiting for somebody else to always like take the and be like oh yeah let's do this at this time and yeah I think it's just a lack of control bro it's like come on now what are we doing here. Hmm. You think that uh, affects like most motivation. relationships? Yeah, bro. Women, like a motivation. Like, like a motivation. Mm. Yeah, man. Be, they, they don't, they, it'd be rare that you get a girl that want to just, oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Like, you'll feel, you'll find them, bro, but you'll probably find them in your home, girl. No, no, no. You'll get the let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, but then you won't get the what day, how we're going to do this, how this process, how this is going to actually happen. It's just a person full of ideas, but not a lot of follow through. Like the well, I mean, to that's, their defense, as the man, you know, you're expected to do that. But no, but you would want your woman to like. But that's my no, 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 no. As the man, I'm supposed to pay for it. Now that's so you're not supposed to saying. plan it. You're not supposed to plan it. Bro, help me plan it. If you want to do this, let's do it, yo. If you know I'm working or you know I'm busy doing something, like let's plan this thing. You know I'm anyways, and have to pay for it, and then. Yeah. If you tell me what we doing, what's the plan? Let's do it. As you plan a date, I gotta play, I gotta pay for. They want like, you to initiate. 
Bro, y'all be that's crazy. That guy. <laughs> look at his face. Oh, bro. It was like, what? Bro, I gotta. <laughs> that's uh-huh. crazy, bro. Look, it's gotta... always in this year, bro. We, we come up with all the dates. We come up with all the plans. Shit, we the one that gotta have the motion. That's a, that's a new word. Bro. Like, like, bro, we got that. We the ones that, that gotta literally. The ship only flows half the time if we the one pushing that bitch. Like, it, like and it's what it it's what it is, bro. So the women don't be spontaneous all the time. They don't be <sighs> doing, doing the most, especially in a relationship. Let's that, that, that put it in a relationship. Some of them y'all get. Bored. Y'all women get bored, and sometimes y'all get complacent in a relationship, and y'all stop trying to spice it up. So yeah, niggas get bored, bro. Niggas get just as bored as you get bored. And his thing then inside down. I'm a, I gotta pay for the bitch at the end of the day. Anyway. But you knew that though. You knew that before you got with her though. A lot of stop the cap. A lot of times stop the cap, bro. Yes, you do. You know that, man. If you're going on dates with this person, you know if they're going to contribute. They put their best effort when you meet them, though. Maybe they be goddamn high and above when you meet them. It's not true. Uh, it don't work like that though. It don't work like that. Don't nobody goes from okay. I'm going to plan every single date, or I'm going to show you that I plan dates to not planning anything at all anymore. No one does that, bro. People are not extreme in that way. Bro, they show you who they are when you start dating. Don't be lazy, bro. It is what it is, bro. People get complacent. You realize that? Yeah, but not to that point, bro. Not to that extent. You knew who you was getting with when you got with them. You knew she was going to be complacent. No. Marlon, you know a person that has the potential to be complacent. You know that when you talk to them, when you're with no, them. Actually, no. Honestly, in my opinion, when it comes to women specifically, I'm going to get all y'all hoes the really, really benefit of the doubt to, to you showing me that, that you are complacent. I'm going I'm to assume that you got your shit together. I'm assuming that you... That you Why would you do you that? Together. Because I feel like I got to give niggas a fair chance. Now, if if now when it show, I'm, I'm going to take it like that as that and I'm going I'm to roll with it. But like, bro... If, bro, a woman can, can do all these things in the beginning, and she'll do, and then switch up, bro. That shit happens every day, bro. That's real life. Bro. No, real life. man, no, nah, man, no. Nah. I, 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 I don't know we have, I don't know we have a real woman ain't doing shit type of podcast, but it's like, bro, sometimes nah, we, we ain't like, even got that, bro. We ain't even got that. Oh, bro, could we could we could we come up? We are we're, we're going hard against the women today, but I'm just saying, bro, we, they don't be doing shit. You going hard against them, bro? I'm telling I'm, niggas, I'm, just, I'm talking real not points, listening. Like, I'm talking Motherfuckers will show their face. You just don't want to pay attention to it. Y'all overlooking this shit. She's showing you that she's complacent. You just don't pay attention enough. I'm not going to sit around and wait and just, you know, give someone the benefit of the doubt and just say, oh, they, they got their shit together and I'm going to just wait and see. No, you're wasting time, bro. Read the room. Study her ways. Read You'll room. see. You'll see, okay, she does that, but I can tell she get lazy sometimes. She's showing you who she is. Women, they don't hide who they are like that, bro. Women are emotional. They're going to show their ways. They're going to, they, you know, they wear their emotion on their sleeves. So it ain't like they could just hide who they are for fucking four to five months. And then all of a sudden, oh, this is me. Like if a bitch stank bro. and she got bad hygiene, <laughs> it's going to show. She can't hide that for too long. Perfume bad. can only do so much. Eventually, you're going to realize, damn, this bitch stank. Yeah. Same thing with everything else, bro. Just like you. You can only hide certain things for so long. Like, if you know that you messy, you can only hide that for so long, bro. So, yeah, niggas just gotta, they gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time with a girl just because you you like her and you just want to see what she got and then you get into a relationship and now you're miserable. So, my thing is, most relationships fail because there's a lack of respect. There's a lack of respect and there's bad communication. See, we always say, oh, communicate, communicate. It's not about just communicating because you could talk all day, but if someone's not listening, it don't matter. It's about making sure your communication style aligns with that person. Yep. You got to make sure the way that you speak aligns with the person that you're talking to. Because if that don't happen, you could talk all damn day and it won't matter. Yeah. So it's about making sure your communication styles align. And uh, respect, man. Respect. That's self-explanatory. Yes, mm. Yeah, man. So, hey, that's another episode for y'all, man. Episode 95 is in the books. Make sure y'all yes, like, sir, comment, man. subscribe. I nah, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, right. man. We on <laughs> our way, y'all. Y'all good? Yeah. I'm rambling. Give me a second. I have to go to the restroom. I'm sorry. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> let me, no, say, let me calm down. <laughs> not even that, bro. I'm just saying, but listen, so shit. I mean, 
basically this is it. I mean, my, it'd be about 50%. It'd be about like 70, 30. So it's like 60, 40. It just depends on the situation. Like a lot of times that shit, I, it don't be a- He said 70%. Like, oh, you changed that shit. <laughs> no, because I'm, no, I'm saying right now today is is, is the is 89 because of certain mm-hmm. situations. But on the average when things were different, 60, 40, 70, 30. Like I, I wasn't coming out of pocket all the time. But yeah. I'm going to say, okay, in this month alone, I probably came out of pocket a lot. But that's only because of the holidays and circumstantial shit. Like I'm the type of, I'm the type of nigga where if you show me some shit that's like that's like four dollars, four dollars, four dollars. I'm the type of nigga that seen ten, but like oh you can you can get, you can get all three of them motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. okay being a provider in certain instances. I'm okay just you know what I'm saying. But you gotta always tell your woman that's one to like oh Ben I got it. Oh baby I got it. Oh, no, push, nigga put your money away. I got it. Like you gotta have a woman that's one to do these things because man, that goes all, a long way, man. It goes a long way because long way. Way. we're not, we're not, we're, we're never gonna send we're never gonna ask you to pay for it. It takes a real bum ass nigga to be like, but you good, like, thanks <laughs> for that. So, I'm saying it's nice that a female can say, Oh no, baby, I got it. Because here's the thing, and I hate to be this nigga. If if I'm paying 90 and above, bitch, you, you, I, I listen, bro, I, I, I gotta be that nigga. I, I must be making some crazy amount, amount of money to the point where you ain't gotta work and you might, you just my housewife. That's one thing. Or two, nigga, if I'm if, if I'm paying like 90, 90 plus percentage, percentage up on some shit, boy, you better be a goddamn cooking and cleaning and fucking sucking bro. motherfucker. Oh God, <laughs> bro. You gotta do everything. That's the only way it makes sense. Because if I pay for everything, bitch, you better, I better hit out here. I know for nothing. And I mean mm-hmm. that shit. And that's the same thing. If I had a whole bunch of money and I was taking care of it, it's the same equivalent because bitch, you can't tell me no, I make the money. Facts. You live with my housewife, your little housewife. Do these nigga, I make the money. So yeah, that's, that's why the women only- they gotta ask themselves, okay, if he's spending ninety percent of the money, what am I doing? I'm gonna say, am I holding my money, end of the bargain? Whatever money that you making, you it can go back to the house. It can go back to take care and taking care of certain shit. But if I'm paying every single bill, bitch, I better not hear nothing. We better have everything that we need, in that motherfucker, because you're not spending nothing. But his name, get it, every bro. situation is circumstantial. Every situation is different. I will never, ever, ever tell, tell a man or woman that they're not doing their part in their relationship. But we got to be realistic about these things. So just, just as much as women want a rich nigga and it's shit like that, damn, we want, we, we can get us, can we get a bitch with a job? Can we get a bitch with a car? His name. Mm. I, I implore y'all men to find you a woman with a car or a job. She got, she got to have two for you to be balling. See, she can have one. But, that, and, but that's not the same thing. If you got two, you balling, my nigga. That's just what it is. Thanks, man. Oh, we, we, we met, they'll, they'll cuss us out. They'll do all this shit about me not having this, about me not having that. But, bitch, what do you got? And I hate you. That's, that's just what it is, bro. You got to reciprocate your energy. Like, if you know this nigga paying 90%, you got to do something to counter that shit. You got to do something where it's like, okay, it makes sense. For every woman that wants, it's definitely a bitch that will. Depending on, what you look like, like, depending on what you look like, my brothers, I ain't, I can't even stat with you. If you look conventionally attractive, trust me, you, you can get it. <laughs> you, as long as you ain't looking deformed, my nigga, you can get it. Bruh, deformed. That's wild. Oh, like real deal, like in 2022, deformed. you ain't gotta be the swollest nigga. You ain't gotta be the richest nigga. You ain't gotta be nothing. You gotta be semi, keyword, semi conventionally attractive. You gotta just be like, I, I go to the gym a couple days a week, type of look. I gotta be, I, I got my shit semi together. I'm telling you. Bitches, eat that shit up. That believe you got your shit together. I'm just saying it's not that hard out here. This is real life, man. That's why you can't live your life through the internet, bro. The and internet lies, man. It shows people through a certain lens that's not realistic. But once you come out me. that shit, you come outside, you realize, oh, I don't got to do all that. Like, yeah. Don't all these hoes ain't out here really going for tens. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can't. They know at the end of the day, a 10 is so rare. We yeah. probably some people will live their life and never meet a ten. Never meet a ten. Physically. Never associate so. with a ten. And his thing, right? All these bitches think they're a ten anyway. So you know, you gotta take that with a grain of salt. Yep, we gotta take that every, shit with a grain of every, salt because everyone think they're ten. And also, I was privy to a conversation where it's just like, hey, you know, women have their own ideas about how they how they feel like men should do this and men should do that. But you know, every woman ain't high quality either. Every woman ain't. Ain't worth the time, ain't worth the effort. It's a lot of y'all bitches out here be nonchalant as fuck. Y'all just be thinking that shit just because I'm the woman, I, I'm the table, I'm bringing everything to the situation. You're lucky to have me, but you know, as, as men and women, we gotta have more self respect for ourselves and understand that I'm the prize. We both the prize. So it's kind of like don't ever sell yourself short trying to deal with somebody because you think that that's the best you're gonna get. 
Facts. Facts. So, but I mean, well, hey, man, like I said, if you paying 90% of the bills or whatever, she got to do something else in return. Some. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Fucking is sucking. Some. Fucking is sucking. Fucking is sucking. I have returned from the toilet. Shit, Damn. booty. Yeah, it got real. Damn. Damn. Yeah, it got Damn. real, real quick, y'all. Uh, it's all right. Um, it got Shit. real manic on that toilet. Oh, nigga. Next topic. <laughs> no, it's not for real. Real Matic Podcast.